so if uh, now at least we know how the bias is set right although this is asymmetrical we see with respect to the biasing or common mode inputs it's symmetrical so it's easy for us to see the voltages and currents so then we'll actually go back and see what will be the small signal gain we started off with this fellow here we were convinced that the gain is this but from here to here we have made a lot of modifications so let's calculate what will be the small signal gain and for that i'll take the approach of finding the short circuit gm and the output resistance take the product because that's simpler so we'll take the circuit so i have uh, v1 v2 this is v out and i am finding the short circuit gm okay so let me quickly uh, draw the small signal equivalent uh, the current source will be open so what will happen to the supply vdd that is incrementally grounded so it's ground and i'm interested in finding the short circuit gm so what will i do to the output i have to yeah i have to short circuit it and find what is the short circuit current okay please remember this is like finding the norton current you short circuit the output and find what current flows so let's do that so to find the current here i have to find the currents in the transistors to find the currents in the transistor which voltage i should first determine yeah this is node vx vgs is what we need i know the gate voltage this is pending so again here you see that i have a uh, vx dependent on both v1 and v2 right so i'll do superposition if i just find the effect due to v1 i'll have v1 and i have some resistance here and what is that resistance 1 by gm because the drain is short so please recollect if the drain was at a smaller resistance than r not then this was 1 by gm okay so since the drain is short here this is 1 by gm and uh, so which means what do you think this vx will be this is same as what we had in the morning right the, i mean in the first the same thing here also we had 1 by gm 1 by gm and we found that this was v1 plus v2 by 2 same thing is happening here okay so I'll directly write it you can uh, go back and check it you can find it using superposition the same thing as we did for the first circuit okay. so which means what is the uh, small signal current i1 it's gm of the nmos times v1 minus v1 plus v2 by 2 this is gm n times okay what can you say about the current in the right side branch that is also i1 right what can you say about the current in the pmos transistor that is that is also i1 now notice oops these two form a current mirror so whatever current flows in the pmos transistor will be copied here okay so then what is the total short circuit current now two times i1 so this is essentially gmn times v1 minus v2 so the short circuit gm of this entire circuit is the gm of the nmos transistor okay shouldn't be surprising because it is the nmos transistor which is taking in the voltage and doing the hard job of converting it to a current so transconductance it makes sense that it is uh, only for the nmos right so this is the short circuit gm any questions on this i know i skipped a step on writing vx to be v1 plus v2 by 2 but please you can work it out and convince yourself if you have doubts please get back to me i'll clear okay. so gm is found what is the next thing to find r out so let's do that quickly and wrap up today 
so this is i'm finding r out now so uh, i usually have v1 v2 to find the output resistance first let me take off the current source incrementally open supply is incrementally short and to find the output resistance what do i do i'll connect a test voltage here and what do i find the current flowing out of this test voltage source i'll call it the test current or you could apply a test current and find the test voltage for lta circuits uh, both will give the same result and what do i do to v1 v2 yeah the other sources are made zero these are voltages so when i make them zero they are short circuited so now uh, you see that this current it we have two components i'll say the current flowing up and the current flowing down now first let's try to find the current that is flowing down okay and the current that flows down essentially depends on the resistance looking down fine so what i'll do i'll draw only the part that is looking down from the output i have the nmos transistor okay and here i have connected some resistance and what is the looking in resistance here it's one by gm of the nmos but the looking looking in resistance into the source is one by gm provided the drain resistance is it is larger or smaller i mean what i'm saying is looking into the source i can make call it 1 by gm if this resistance rd is smaller or larger small so what is the resistance connected here this is 1 by gm of the pmos transistor okay when i have drain and gate connected the effective impedance is 1 by gm so again i am taking uh, i'm skipping a step assuming you guys recollect if this is not clear you can come back to me at the end of the class i'll explain so this resistance is 1 by gm this is going to be small compared to r not of this transistor so i can nicely assume that this is approximately so which means this is how the effective uh, circuit looking down will look like right? so we'll call it this is this clear i have just drawn what we have looking down i have drawn the nmos transistor and the source at the source of this nmos transistor i have a resistance 1 by gm connected to ground which is included here okay so now tell me uh, what is the resistance looking down now does it remind you of some configuration you saw now what is it it's a cascode right so i have a think of it like a current buffer and a resistance connected so the output resistance of a cascode is this resistance 1 by gm plus r not of this transistor i'll call it r not n plus the intrinsic gain of this transistor times this resistance okay so i'll say gm n times r not n that is the intrinsic gain of the transistor that multiplies the resistance you have looking down okay so what this is approximately equal to no no 1 by gm r not 2 r not what is it 2 times i mean exactly it is 2 times r not plus 1 by gm as you know 1 by gm is generally much smaller than r not so for all practical purpose i can say that it is 2 or okay so which means i know the resistance looking down so can you tell me what is the down current now ha huh? vt by the down current is essentially the test voltage you have divided by the down resistance that is simple 
so only thing pending is uh, this up current so let me actually mark it here uh, this is i'll call it i down okay <coughs> that's a current we have found what is this current uh, same although it's pointing up it is still the down current so this current is idn okay now uh, i'm i just have to find the up current now remember uh, the up current here is essentially the total current flowing in the pmos transistor now for the pmos transistor if i draw uh, maybe i lose this color i have gm vgs of the pmos transistor and what else i have for small signals yeah the output resistance so let me actually make some space and draw it and its output resistance r not p okay so what is the current flowing through r not of the transistor i'll write it here i f is vt by okay so that is the current flowing through r not that contributes to the up current is it clear and in addition what do i have no no i am only looking at the up current please recollect i am looking at the up current the total up current is the current flowing through the pmos transistor the current flowing through the pmos transistor depends both on vgs and vds completely the current due to vds is captured this way fine now the pending is gm vgs of the pmos transistor and what do you think uh, this current might be equal to yeah why yeah again uh, as he is pointing out remember uh, the gate to source voltage of the pmos transistor is same so which means the current due to vgs will be so this current will be equal to uh, if this argument is not clear we can do it quickly so let's say maybe let's say yeah so let's say this current is idn what can you say about this voltage i have a current idn flowing here what is the resistance connected here 1 by gm so what is the voltage here idn this correct the current times the resistance that's it so i know the gate voltage here that is idn times gmp so gm vgs is what okay gm times i mean this times gmp that is the this current okay so this i'll directly write it so this is essentially vt by r not p plus the down current which is vt by 2 r not n okay so let's quickly finish it uh, so which means my total test current the sum of these two what do you get right yeah same thing yeah yeah exactly that's the same argument he saying this is a current mirror so this current will be equal exactly but in addition you will have also current due to the vds that is captured by or not right whichever way you understand it's perfect so this is directly you will find vtn vt by r not n plus vt by r not p so what is the output resistance yeah okay. so one thing to remember is it is not as though when i look at the output looking down i have r not of the n mos looking up it is r not of the p mos in fact we saw that looking down resistance is two times r not okay so but things work out in such a way that effectively it is r not n parallel r not so this is something to have in mind it is not as though looking down it is r not n so let's just make this and finish off so which means the total gain here is gm of the n mos times r not n parallel r not okay this is the gain here short circuit gm we found as gm this is the output resistance that's what we have. so i'll stop here and uh, we'll continue